Welcome to day one. My name is John Peacock. I'm the lead pastor of Mission Church. And for the next 34 days, we're going to journey through this little letter called Galatians. And it is from Paul, the Apostle Paul, to churches scattered throughout Galatia. And I'm praying that God would use this video devotional in a powerful way in your life, certainly in my life. And what we'll do day by day is just take uh, take Galatians one bite at a time. We're going to spend 34 days in this book and my prayer is that this would change you, that this would, um, as for myself, at, at the same time, that these words on these pages would not just stay on these pages, but that they would become true in our life and that you and I would be transformed through the power of God's word to us today. So we're going to dive in. Let me pray for us and we will begin. God, thank you so much for today. And God, we ask that you would speak to us now as we open your word, we believe God, that your mouth is being opened to us and you desire to speak to us today through your word. Father, we ask that you would open our eyes, that you would help us see. Holy Spirit, we invite you now to uh, open our hearts to be challenged, to be convicted, to be encouraged, to be filled with hope. Uh, we need you and we ask for you to guide us through your word to us. We pray this, Jesus, in your name. Amen. All right, what we're going to do today is just five verses. If you are uh, go ahead and open up your Bibles, all right, uh, I will make just a few comments here, and we're just going to go through five verses today for day one. Here we go. Paul, an apostle, sent not from men nor by men, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead. All right, so that's where we'll uh, stop. Now, if you were to read some other uh, epistles, other Pauline writings, you would see a little bit of a different introduction uh, the, the introduction here in Galatians is, is a little bit different. Um, one thing, first of all, is uh, Paul, out of the gate, is letting the audience know that, listen, hey, I didn't appoint myself. This was not my idea. Um, I didn't just say one day, hey, I'm going to be an apostle now. Paul is helping the, their context, the original context, understand that, listen, I am an apostle sent not for men nor by men, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father. He is out of the gate helping the audience understand the, uh, his apostleship uh, and really helping them understand, and now you and I today, understand the validity of his apostleship. Uh, they're in Galatia. Uh, this isn't to just one church. It's to the churches throughout Galatia, to, and we think kind of southern Galatia. Um, Paul needed, and they needed to understand that, that he was authentic. He was an authentic apostle. Uh, he, was, he was not a substitute apostle. Uh, he did not come up with this on his own, but no, he was sent by God. Th one of the main things that was happening, and we'll see this because we're going to take time going through this over the days to come, but his, his apostleship, the validity of his apostleship was at stake. Uh, some people were spreading all kinds of rumors saying that, man, you know, Paul, uh, don't listen to him. You know, he, he's, he's not really an apostle. And so out of the gate, we're seeing uh, that he really is an apostle. So a little bit different introduction than if you read, you know, Ephesians, uh, Colossians, uh, Philippians, a little bit different introduction. So uh, another thing about the introduction, this is why we're only going to spend today just on these five verses, is um, we need to first and always stop and ask the question, all right, who is this guy? Who, who is the guy that's writing this book? Who is Paul? What do we know about Paul? Now, we know about Paul that he was, um, in his conversion, it was pretty, um, pretty historic, really. In the book of Acts, and we just went through that video devotional, you can check that out online, um, Paul had this encounter with the risen Savior, with Jesus Christ, in a, in a crazy way on the road to Damascus. We know in Acts chapter 9, and you can go ahead and read that on your, on your own today, uh, that Paul met the risen Savior in such a powerful way that it forever changed his life. Uh, we know that from that point on, Paul would become a very different person. Um, on that road to Damascus, you know, he entered that road by the name of Saul, and then down the road he was renamed. He was given a new name by God himself, that he would be uh, this guy that God would use as a key instrument to carry the gospel uh, to, to the entire world, and that's exactly what happened. Now, another thing that we know about Paul is he went on multiple missionary journeys, all right? So um, uh, one journey, he would get to certain towns, uh, second journey, he'd take some different people with him and get to some other towns and other cities. Uh, three journeys that Paul went on. And we know that, that the journey, one of his original journeys, uh, helped him get in contact with these people. Um, what that tells us is this, is the, uh, the date of this uh, epistle here is, uh, we think it's around 48 AD. 
So I could get into all the details. Um, some of you are really interested in this. Some of you aren't. But we know that it has to be as early as 48 A.D. This is you know, the earliest Pauline writing then. Um, um, we would know that this would be before Acts 15, which is the Jerusalem Council. Otherwise, Paul, we believe, would have mentioned this. So this is a very early writing of Paul. So Galatians, if you can just kind of imagine, it's, it is like early on. It is fresh within his ministry. And what Paul is finding out is that these people that he loves dearly are departing from the gospel that has radically rescued them and changed them. So there's a lot going on. All right, back, back into, the, into the text here. Paul, an apostle, sent not for men nor by men, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead. And all the brothers with me to the churches, there we go, churches, plural, all right, so this just isn't to like the, the church at Philippi, all right, this is to the churches scattered throughout Galatia. He goes on, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to rescue us from the present evil age according to the will of our God and Father. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, um, we're going to be done here in just a couple minutes. We're going to try to keep these under 10 minutes every single day. What we see here in the first of five verses, that the importance is this, is that Paul is starting this letter in a different way, as I've mentioned. He's coming out of the gate very differently than he does in these other letters. And what that tells us is this, is Galatians is meant to deliver a tone and deliver a message that some of the other letters were not meant to do. Galatians, like standing by itself, is such an important epistle, such an important letter for you and I to dive into and to study. There's so much going on within these churches in Galatia that Paul begins out of the gate with a tone that is unique and different than from some of his other writings because of what was happening. And we're going to read about this tomorrow because how they were deviating from the gospel. They were creating a gospel that was in fact no gospel at all. Therefore, Paul, out of the gate, begins to set a totally different tone. Uh, one thing I came across, which I loved, was uh, understanding that this was Luther's epistle. Uh, this was Luther's favorite writing. This was his epistle. And what we're going to see over the, the coming days and you know a couple few weeks here of studying this is we're going to understand the power of grace. We're going to understand how we really are saved. We're going to understand that man, this is not about legalism. This is not about works. But no, you and I have been arrested by this new gospel. There is a new gospel at hand, and Paul is saying, you gotta, you got to come back to the center. You've been deviating. There's a lot at stake here. So uh, that is day one. Tomorrow, day two, uh, we're going to dive into just a few more verses, but let today kind of be the foundation. Let today whet your appetite. And here's how I want us to close. I, I want us to close with this question, and maybe write this down in your journal, all right, or just think this. Maybe you're listening to this as you're driving into work this morning. Uh, I'm not sure, but... Uh, just write, write this down or think about this one question. You know, when Paul wrote this and God directed him to write this, um, he was longing for the audience to pause enough to ask a key question about their life. I mean, he was wanting them to receive this letter with open hearts, with an open mind, for them all right, to be open enough to say, all right, man, in what ways have I deviated from the gospel? And you and I, perhaps maybe you've read the book of Galatians before. Uh, maybe this is your first time ever opening the Bible. No matter who you are, no matter what journey you've been on, would you come to that same place and ask that similar question? God, what are you wanting to say to me through uh, these next 34 days? I mean, get to the place where you would even say, God, I'm going to open my heart. I'm going to open my eyes. I'm going to open my mind to receive from you what you want me to receive through this book of Galatians. My prayer is that you and I will not be the same after the next 34 days, that God in his word would speak to us in a powerful way to the degree that it would change us, to the degree that it would convict us, to the degree that it would comfort us, and that it would bring us into uh, this new community uh, that God has for us. Have a great day. We'll see you guys tomorrow as we dive into day two. God bless.